It's a new dawn. It's a new day. It's a new life for me. And I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video on my channel. Today is how we get down to first ever game in the National League, and I couldn't let this historic day go without a special vlog of the build up to this game. Last night, I could hardly sleep because of my excitement. Um, Today is also going to bring a bit of sadness as we start by remembering a lifelong supporter of the club, George Smith, who died recently. Today I am starting the vlog with an injury update from Rachel as well as an interview with an existing player and a new player. So let's get this season started with a win. Come on, town! Let's get three points. What's up, guys? I'm here with Rachel Davis, the Harry Town video. First of all, how, how is the difference? Uh, how has there been any difference between the to the pre-season training the sessions this season to compare to last season? Um, I think the lads have said that this season's been tougher. Obviously, it's been very hot, um, but the runs have been hard. They've worked really hard. Got a lot of fitness work in, a lot of ball work. Um, did a bit of work at Ripley Castle, some hill running, some lake running, things like that. So yeah, it's been really good. Uh, Mark Beck was injured in the playoff final. How has he recovered, and when do you think he'll be back for match fit? So, just to kind of explain to everybody. So Becky in the final, 12th minute, um, the kneecap for Patella um, that dislocated, so that came out and kind of was was up here um, in that final. So he wanted to play on. He shouted at me because I didn't let him play on. And he wanted to try and walk off the pitch, so I shouted at him again. Um, so basically, he went to see a surgeon who said that if he didn't have surgery, there'd be a 70% chance that it'd re-dislocate. So we decided to go with the surgery option. So he's had everything here that went with it reattached and tightened up. He's now 10 weeks post-surgery. He's back running, um, doing a bit of ball work, building his leg, his quad up because it's quite weakened. So we're hoping maybe another three or four weeks before he's kind of starting to get some game time um, and introducing him back into full training. Uh, John Phillips was also injured in the pre-season friendly. How, how has he been and when do we kill be back to match fit? So this ligament here is your MCL, it's called your medial collateral ligament and it runs down the inside of your knee. He's got a partial tear, so what we call a grade 2 tear on that inside. Um, so he's in a brace at the moment. He'll be in the brace, it's, this is week 3 of 6. So the first week was 10 to 40 degrees. At the moment it's 0 to 90. And then next Friday for the next two weeks it's a full brace, like free brace, but in a brace still. And then after that we'll start rehabbing him um, probably for another month after that. Has there been, been any other pre-season injuries? Um, generally he's like rolled his ankle in training but he's back, he's absolutely fine um, Lloyd had a little niggle with his hip flexor but again he's fine um, so all fit squad apart from those two injuries that we've carried for and finally how are you feeling about the team's first ever game in National League today? it's exciting, um, it's a bit of the unknown but we're all really looking forward to it, we've got a good strength squad out so we're hoping, hoping for the three points in the first ever game um, so yeah and then, just on behalf of first team staff and players, oh, we would like to present oh, with you. Chief Brody <laughs> shirt for the season. Thank you so much. So you can wear that That's when so you're cute. doing all your uh, all your okay. vlogs. Thank and you. uh, yeah, good luck. Good luck stage. Well. All right, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> right, guys. I'm here with uh, one of the Harriet Town players, George Thompson. Um, you have had you have you have. Had a new, a few new members in the team. How have you been getting on with them? Uh, everyone settled in really well. Um, I think it was the same last year when I when I came, when I was one of the new ones. Um, it doesn't take long for for people to settle in. I think everyone sort of gets to know each other very quickly. It's easier when you're full time as well because everyone's with each other every day. So um, yeah, everyone's everyone's gelled really well, and we can't wait to get started today. How are you feeling about playing the national league for the first time? Um, I've played in it before um, for Chester. Um, it's a tough league. Everyone knows that it will be a step up from from last season, but um, I think we're ready to take the challenge on. Uh, some of the away games are quite long. This quite a long distance this season. 
Uh, that could mean that not many fans travel to the away games. How do you think it's going to impact the team? Um, I think at the end of the day, we've just got a job to do. Um, you know, it's always good to see in seeing fans in the numbers turning out at away games as well as at home um, but like you say it's uh, there's some long some long trips and it's it's expected that some of them you're not going to see as many as others uh, out of all the players that have left who are you missing the most um, I think everyone in the change room would probably say Terry Kennedy uh, I think he was one of the biggest characters last year so yeah I think everyone would say him what is your favourite food to eat favourite food uh, well I'm a vegan so <laughs> Uh, I'll put that in there first, just so we know. Um, I'd probably say a bean chilli. How how many times do you have that a week? A week? Uh, <laughs> well, I'm not the cook in my house. Uh, my girlfriend is, so she likes to change it up. So probably once, twice, maybe. And what is your favourite band slash singer? Favourite band slash singer? Um, I'm going to play it very safe and say Drake. What is your, what is his favourite song called? Uh, at the minute? Yeah. Um... It's hard. Yeah, it's hard. Well, Everyone does that in in my feelings, is it? Something yeah. like that, the challenge, yeah. So oh, yeah, that that's always a bit of a laugh. And, and finally, <laughs> what's your score prediction for this game? Um, I think we'll win and I think it will be 2-0 to us. Thank you, Jordan. Good luck to today's game. Thank you, mate. Guys, I'm now here with Harrogate Town, one of Harrogate Town's new signings, Aaron Williams. First of all, why did you decide to play for Harrogate Town? Just the way the club is, the way the direction he wants to go. The club's looking to go up, up and up. And I feel like I want to be part of that, and that's one of the reasons why I joined Hogan Town. Um, how has it felt so far? It felt fantastic. We've had a good pre season, a lot of wins during pre season, a lot of goals. Uh, the boys are really welcoming in, and it's, it's a really nice place to live, so I'm really, really enjoying it at the minute. Does it feel different to play in? Uh, does it feel different to the last team you played for? Yeah, definitely. It's a new set of lads, so it's different personalities in the changing room, and being full time is a, a, big part, a big part of it. So. It does feel a little bit different, definitely. Uh, what do you do as a hobby? I do like a movie, do like going to the cinema, uh, do, like, do like a game of golf and occasionally a game of FIFA on the PlayStation. Um, what is your favourite film? The Blind Side. It's a fantastic storyline, based on a true story that gets me every time. And also, finally, what's your score prediction for the first ever game in the National League? How we get time win. Thank you. Good score. Yo, I'll We're going to do better still. We've got Tuesday night, 
partly full, do you want a piece today? Well, smash that and go to Anyway, our man of the match, here he is. Yeah. 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 Yeah.